anyone heard of Fire Phones? It is a smartphone indeed, but not manufactured by a smartphone company. Yes, that sounds confusing. But it is true. Welcome guys to our YouTube channel. Are you new here? Then wait not to subscribe to our channel. Let us ponder more about this Fire Phone. The world's top internet-based company Amazon launched their first ever smartphone on 25th July 2014. They had given a catchy name to their phone, Fire Phone. But, unfortunately, Amazon's first attempt at creating and selling its own smartphone was not a popular success. That was eight years ago. Is there any chance that Jeff Bezos is coming back stronger with an all-new level Fire Phone? Will it dominate the smartphone's market? Let us see. The users and gadget critics initially pointed the reasons for the Fire Phone's flop on being badly priced, which was later slashed. The thing is that Amazon didn't create a product that was differentiated enough for customers. It just didn't resonate to the next level of masses. We want customers to be able to use Alexa wherever they are, Amazon said in a press release. We suspect, though this is admittedly speculation, that Amazon will have to re-enter the phone market either directly or indirectly in order to drive Alexa adoption. Benjamin Schachter, a technology analyst, noted this. We do not see how Alexa can evolve to its fullest capacity without being available prominently on the main device that so many people carry in many of the Fire Phone's most innovative features, like the ability to scan 100 million real-world objects with the press of a button, are really aimed at getting customers to buy more things on Amazon. Making such features the main selling point of the device immediately means its appeal will be limited to only heavy Amazon users. Other new features, like the 3D display, were generally met with a collective yawn. So the reason for the idea of a new phone came from the need to make Alexa's services more prominent. Moreover, all of us know how Amazon started its e-commerce business. Books, audio CDs, and DVDs. From that Jeff Bezos developed an electronic reading service named Kindle which became a huge success. The reason for this success was that Jeff tried to improve customer experience and the more user-friendly approach of Kindle Fire. In the 2007 edition of Kindle, he made sure that now the customers can download their favorite books easily. Initially, this was not entertained by all of the shareholders, just like the free shipping idea of Jeff was not welcomed. But for the second time, the CEO of Amazon proved right. The same approach Jeff Bezos had for the Fire Phone, to make Amazon a lifestyle. But smartphone companies are major rivals and they are growing their technologies day by day. Another fact is that a smartphone is not a simple gadget like Kindle. Now let us talk about the specifications of Amazon's Fire Phone. The phone comes with a 4.7-inch touchscreen LCD display, coming with a resolution of 720x1280 pixels at a pixel density of 315 pixels per inch. But other smartphones have already improvised their screens to AMOLED ones. Amazon Fire Phone is powered by a 2.2 GHz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor. When it comes to random access memory, a 2GB of RAM is what the Fire Phone supports. Like any other smartphones of today, the battery is not removable. Talking about the cameras, the Amazon Fire Phone on the rear packs a 13MP camera. It comes with a 2.1MP camera on the front for selfies. The cameras, more than taking pictures and videos, act as face tracking sensors in a very fancy way. Even the angle of your face can control your phone, which the user will get acquainted with eventually. Amazon Fire Phone is based on Fire OS 3.50, which is a stiffer version of the Android but without any Google services. The phone gives a 32GB of inbuilt storage. The Amazon Fire Phone is a single SIM mobile that accepts a nano SIM card. This at that time seemed primitive because other contemporary phones have already adapted the dual SIM policy. The Amazon Fire Phone measures 139.20 into 66.50 into 8.90 mm, height into width into thickness, and weighs 160 grams, not too big but not too small. Sensors on the phone include accelerometer, ambient light sensor, barometer, gyroscope, proximity sensor, and compass or magnetometer. Going through all these features, nothing feels very unique. Then what makes this Amazon Fire Phone different from its contemporaries? The users can compare their old phone and all-new Fire Phones more distinctively. Let us see some of the demarcating features of Amazon's Fire Phone. Three speakers provided in this rectangular plastic set gives a stereo effect without any doubt. Moreover, another peculiar thing is the slightly raised home button. 
This makes the use of the home button, which acts like an emergency button, at times very simple. Cheers to the Snapdragon 800 processor too. When it comes to those 13 pixel lenses, low light photography comes pretty good, which was never expected. Another fascinating thing is the dynamic perspective added to the four cameras. The truth is that the engineers behind this creation are not sure why spending a huge amount of money for such a feature is not at all useful for the people. They were asked to install dynamic perspectives by their boss Jeff. Only gamers will find that useful most probably. Now what if just your one hand is free and you want to reach the next tab or maybe the settings window? Do not worry, just a flick of your wrist with the phone in it is all it takes. Another thing to point out is the three-dimensional maps, which helps in finding the routes more easily. Amazon without any doubt did an exceptional work to make their Fire Phone different from other smartphones. New features were added but what people wanted from a smartphone was not studied properly by them. All the features were developed according to the inhibitions of Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. Of course, Apple being the largest rival for any other smartphone manufacturer, the Fire Phone also wanted to reach somewhere near to the iPhone's profitability. That is why initially Jeff decided to sell his phone for a non-negotiable price. But even the design of the Fire Phone could not be at par with the iPhone which also made this phone less premium. For finding something online, we scan things or maybe a QR code. Which feature do you use for that? Some may say Google Lens. Suppose you are out of water, just scan an empty water bottle using Firefly camera and you got the same product on Amazon. As of 4th September 2022, Amazon Fire Phone priced about $199 US dollars. That was the price of the iPhone 6 released at the same time but proved to be more efficient and useful. Selling about 4 million units within the first 24 hours of its launch, the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus overtook the Fire Phone. But the main reason for a very low customer reception for the Fire Phone, as discussed by experts like Tom Skutak, is the failure in price strategy. A whooping $170 million flop, which includes $83 million worth inventory too. Pitching a forked Android smartphone against an iOS smartphone is like doing the same with apples and oranges. A good smartphone is expected to perform quicker and smoother. Maybe their first attempt could not make that happen to the fullest. But for their next arrival, it is sure they will make up for their past flaws and will present a brand new Fire Phone. Fire Phone was the very first experiment of a non-smartphone company, and they have learned their mistakes. Jeff Bezos is a fighter, he will soon introduce the Fire Phone edition in the market with more relevant features and decent price. Even though a confirmed decision has not been received from Amazon, many Amazon product lovers, and we all are really hoping for a stronger comeback of Amazon Fire Phone. What will happen then if Jeff Bezos introduces Fire Phone? Will you buy the Fire Phone for yourself if it comes back in the near future? Are you reluctant to buy one? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. Did you like this video? If you did, do not forget to like this video. Press the bell icon as well so that you do not miss any more videos because we have a lot more interesting things to come. Till then stay happy and healthy. Goodbye.